Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We are gonna be talking about CDP, Continuous Data Protection. What it is, let's talk about it right now. My name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and I absolutely love it. We are talking about CDP, Continuous Data Protection. You may have heard the term, you may not have heard the term, which is why we've got this video and I hope you find this helpful. You've probably got backups or you've probably heard of backups. Every single business needs to have some form of backups operational and some form of backups regularly running. Backups need to be taken daily, weekly, monthly and annually at least. These backups need to be sent to an offsite location. There's no point in having backups running every day, but keeping them in your business, because if the business goes down, then you've lost your data. So making sure that this data is taken offsite, making sure that this data is retained for the right amount of time. Certain types of data may need certain retention policies against it. For example, financial data, you know, data that deals with customer information needs to be retained for a certain amount of time legally, for example. Continuous data protection, CDP, is like a continuous backup. Backups, as we discuss, are routinely done at a scheduled time. They are done daily, weekly, monthly, for example. A continuous data protection is done continuously. Continuous backups are run. This is almost to the millisecond. You ensure that data is always up to date. So it's almost like you have backups running continuously. Data is replicated from one place to another, from one system to another, could be from one server to another server, from one storage media to another storage media, continuously. So CDP really, well true CDP really, is uh, continuously backing up any form of delta changes. So any change that happens at all, it will back up that continuously. Continuously backing up from one place to another so that you can restore any data, any system from any point in time. Backups on the other hand, if I operate my backups to kick off say at 6 p.m. every single day, on a Monday I've run backups at 6 p.m., Tuesday comes in and I've, you know, I start operations on my workforce and then five o'clock happens, 5 p.m., my systems break. I've only got backups from the 6 p.m. on the Monday, the day before, so I essentially lose that entire day. CDP prevents that from happening. These systems are continually backed up, so if I lose systems at five o'clock, I could potentially restore things from a millisecond earlier or even say from 4.59 p.m. So really I have minimal to no data loss in a CDP configuration. The best CDP system that you can be putting in place is a system that actually replicates data to an alternate location. It's nice that you have CDP configured perhaps in the office, backing up from one place to another continuously within the same office. But the whole point of an adequate CDP, which ties in very well with a proper backup strategy and a proper disaster recovery strategy, is to have that data replicated to an alternate site. So that if your site on site goes down, if you have flooding, a fire, a cyber attack, whatever it may be, you do have systems out of the office that can be restored to that point in time and that are completely isolated and ineffective from whatever happens in your one office. So the remote site could be a remote office. It could be set up in the cloud, for example, where services are actually backed up, replicated consistently into the cloud so that if on-site goes down, you can spin up your servers, your data in the cloud or in an alternate site. So a CDP system definitely is different to a backup system in the sense that it's continuously backing up your data. My recommendation is to always have both. Have a system in place to make sure that backups are done regularly and also have a CDP system in place to make sure that your data is replicated to the second, to the millisecond, continuously for any form of change that occurs. Remember that your business data is important. It may contain significant amounts of financial information that is imperative for your business to operate. And in some cases, if you lose a whole day's worth of data because you have backups running every night, that could be a significant financial impact to the business, to the business owner, 
and to any business systems and customs that you may have uh, in place. So have a CDP, a continuous backup system in place, backing up continuously to an alternate site. So that is the overview of CDP. So think of CDP like a continuous backup. A backup is scheduled to run at a predetermined time every day or every week. CDP is not really scheduled, it will just run continuously and back up any changes even to the millisecond of all of your data from one place to another. Make sure that you have CDP or at least some form of a CDP system in place and make sure that that data is replicated continuously to an off-site location, whether if it's an alternate office or up into the cloud. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love it if you commented. Let me know your thoughts and uh, we will see you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.